Hello, welcome back for this version of the Mac OS G op-ed. I am your host, uh, Sarah Palin. And I want to carry on about what we started last week about the, um, the I iPhone 4 incident. Uh, only because it's, it's taken on comical proportions. Now I want to read you something uh, I found here. Wired.com has identified Brian J. Hogan, a 21-year-old resident of Redwood City, California, hereto known as the iPhone Kid, as the finder of the prototype by following clues on social networking sites and then confirmed his identity. identity still working on learning English, sorry folks. Uh, confirmed his identity with a source involved in the iPhone find. It's generally considered theft under California law if one, quote, finds lost property under circumstances that give him knowledge of or means of inquiry as to the true owner, and yet appropriates the property for his own use without first making reasonable and just efforts to find the owner and to restore the property to him. Okay, so it's, it's pretty much straightforward. The law is what it is. Now this is where it gets really strange. This is the, this is the part I always love watching on TV, on the news, when attorneys come out and they try to paint these, these lofty pictures of their clients. He regrets his mistake in not doing more to return the phone, says Hogan's attorney, Jeffrey Bornstein. Even though he did obtain some compensation from Gizmodo, $5,000, uh, Brian thought that it was so that they could review the phone. His attorney says he recently transferred schools and will resume his college education in the fall. He has been working part-time at a church-run community center giving swimming lessons to children and volunteered at a Chinese orphanage last year while he was enrolled in a study abroad program. Oh. He also volunteers to assist his aunt and sister with fundraising for their work to provide medical care to orphans in Kenya. Brian is the kind of young man that any parent would be proud to have as their son. Well, I wikied Brian. Because this, you know, this, the, all the stuff you hear from the attorneys all sounds like fluff. But it turns out that the, the, the attorney actually underplayed uh, Brian's, I don't know, what would you call it? His straightforwardness, his, uh, well, his, his value as a human. Uh, he had other unmentioned accomplishments, I found, like he was instrumental in helping, I'm um, sorry, my, my iPad shifted. He was instrumental in helping Dr. Jonas Salk perfect the polio vaccine. He has donated his liver four times. Brian wrote the lyrics to Kumbaya in one afternoon. And whenever he receives a text message, an angel gets his wings. Now look, let's be honest here. Brian's a 21 year old kid. You go into a bar, you find something, and if someone says, I'll give you 5,000 bucks for that. You gonna tell me that you won't jump at that? He's just a kid, you know? I mean, yeah, okay, there's the law, give him some kind of, uh, stupid thing, let him go plant flowers somewhere, some community service crap. But just let him go and let's get on with this. The damn thing's gonna be out in about two months anyhow. So what's the deal? So I am officially gonna go on record and say, I don't give a rat's ass at this point. Um, that's about it for this time. Next time, I am hoping this saga has ended and I actually have something interesting to talk about. 
So until then, download, double click, drop out. Peace.